Hey guys, so we're here for another cooking video. Um, am I late? No. I'm like two minutes late. Not a big deal. Five minute window. Come on, people. So, we're going to do some cooking. This is the last recipe that I have in stock here, I guess you would say. Um, I got other food, but not stuff that you would, you know, nothing that's that interesting for a video, but we'll figure it out. We'll get some, hopefully, get some groceries. Um, so, I'm kind of blanking right here. So I need to cut my hair. It's driving me crazy. I look like homeless. And I need to shave. Um, I look a lot better that way. My hair is driving me nuts because it gets really oily. Like, even the next day it's oily. It's really annoying. I've always had greasy, like, my hair gets, um, oily. I don't think it's the camera, I think it's too much light. We got too much of the wrong type of light. Because we got it this other way. So it's showing the windows probably make it it's making it look weird. I'll try wiping it though. I find I notice when I watch my videos, like looking now it looks okay. It depends how I stand and where I stand. And it kinda like affects the the camera's brightness. Oh no, yeah. There's too much brightness there, but if I go back here, it's probably the window, I guess. See, that looks normal again. That looks good like that, to me. It's probably just my back window, and then when I come up close here, it's making, there's too much light. I got a lot of lights in here, so. Anyways. I'm going to be spending most of my time back here preparing food anyway. So you should be able to see me good most of the time. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure when you turn some lights off or what. It's like I can't seem to find a good balance. I got a lot of lights, so I don't know if it's this light too. It's even more just the windows the problem. So I close the window uh, the blinds. It probably will be fine. It's kind of um, it's kind of cloudy and overcast the last couple hours. It's not sunny right now anyway, so I bet that'll make a big difference. Yeah, see, that makes a bitter, better difference. It still gets washed out when I get too close to the camera. The fridge just got too much light, I guess. I don't know. Then it seems like it's dark and the fridge still looks weird. Probably this, maybe it's this backlight. That looks better. That's not look too bad. And then I'm, I'm back here. That's probably a little better. Hey Alice. Hey Steffi. Oh, well, see, it's me. As soon as I get in front of it, it makes everything wash out. See when I'm not in the fit in the picture. Just not like this is a fucking bright shirt. Anyways, that looks like it's tolerable right now. I noticed that it's been washing out a bit in the videos, depending on where I'm filming from. So I'm filming the opposite way of normal, so. so the tripod's a bitch to get in and out of this kitchen because I got the legs all the way out flat. Because I they bend one bent. I stepped on it. I always step on it. Alright, so we're just making a basic stuffed shell. There's no meat in this. It's got um the hell. Focus, bruh. Nothing will focus with me in the picture. See, there you go. It's like pasta sauce. It's got um, feta cheese. Was it feta? Not feta. Ricotta. With spinach. And some seasonings. Um, some, um, we're going to use four cheese pasta sauce. It's not uh, complicated. You can make it with meat. My ex-girlfriend used to make it with meat and sour, not sour cream, cream cheese. 
So there is different ways to make it. This is the one I came upon and I thought, okay, cool. I don't have to spend money on meat. So we got, we need 18 to 20 jumbo shells. So hopefully there's enough in there. It seems like it would be just more than 20 in there. But it kind of shows it the same recipe without even meat in it. I love pasta. So. I'm looking forward to this. Good. This is the last recipe I have, I think, to make. Um, I made it about eight or nine days on like $150 with groceries. So that's pretty, pretty good. I got lots of burgers and stuff to cook in the freezer, but it's not, you know, it's not the same as making things from scratch. So we are going to have a garden salad with this. So. Let's get to the instructions. Which don't seem very good. Okay, so it's not a good recipe for, um, it's just a lot of babbling. So it's saying we want to make our filling, um, which we use um, steamed spinach, uh, which I do have a steamer actually, I forgot about that. So I'll grab this steamer out, we'll use that. steamer that I got from my mom but they worked great for corn I find it takes a while but it's a steamer so we can do our spinach in here it seems too dark to me now all right now this is a bad recipe because it's like you got to scroll way down to get the measurements but then you got to go back up to see how to make it and then they're like babbling with it too like they're not even two cups or no let's see here what the hell is the spinach five ounces of spinach that means absolutely nothing to me It's a little over, a little over half a cup. That don't seem like enough. It shrivels up to almost nothing. So, you guys haven't seen me use a steamer before. I won't say creative. I just didn't want to drag this thing through the kitchen. But I mean, if the lighting's really bad, then. You might have to. So now it just seems too dark to me, but... I think we're just going to steam it right on there. We're not going to use the basket. Maybe we should, or small pieces might fall in there. Now this spinach is like 
expiring today, so some of it's a little not gone bad, but you can tell it's starting to churn. I mean, spinach goes down to nothing when you cook it, so we're going to put like a few cups in there. I think the rest of it's going to be garbage because it's kind of smell that it's starting to go. Today's the day for it, so. You put your steamer and put the holes to the back if you have this old model. Um, then, we'll put water in it. My bridge is dripping because it's too full. Leave it at the minimum for now just till that Brita soaks down a little more. I'm not a dish towel, so I'm using this big ass beach towel that my grandma got me. It's too big to use for the shower. I find it too clumsy and it's just too big, so I'm out of dish towels right now, so we're using this big ass beach towel. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna start it for about half an hour, but this thing tends to take a while, so see how it does. Once this thing soaks down a little more, I can put more water in it. It's at the minimum right now. Um, so, while we're doing that, let's see what's next. We'll start seeing a bunch of steam come out of here. It gets hot, hot, hot. Oh, there it's starting. Yeah, corn was really good when I steamed it in here. I haven't tried much other stuff just because this takes a long time. you got to steam your vegetables for like 45 minutes. So usually for like one person, it's much easier just to microwave your frozen veggies. But hey, Char. Um, but it says to steam them. I don't want to try to steam them over the stove. I don't have the proper equipment. likes to leak when it's too full. And it's not leaking now, so. I'm going to put up to the mats just so we can make sure there's water in it. to the max. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can tell but it's getting all steamy in there. My head's chopped off. somebody cooked the pasta. So in a large pot of salted boiling water, cook the pasta shells for 10 minutes. This is better. It must have went down too far because it wasn't showing me, wasn't telling me exactly what to do like right away. It just seemed weird. They're telling me to do the spinach and stuff right away when you got to cook the pasta. So now let's see if we can give you guys a view, a better view of everything kind of going on here. Oh uh, well, we'll turn over to the pot for now. Lighting's not terrible, it's the same as it's always been.
spinach stinks when cooking. Whatever, I'll try to give you guys a better view where you can see everything. You can see the steamer. You can't see the pot. I don't think we're going to get the pot and the steamer in the same spot, so we're probably just going to move stuff around. I love stuffed shells, yeah. I think I usually make them with beef and stuff, but... This one didn't call for meat, so I figured, you know, it's a lot cheaper. So, we've got to put all our spices and ricotta into one pan. Or pot, bowl, whatever. So, while the spinach is cooking. So, we'll start that. I haven't lost much weight. I put more back on, so being off and stuff. All right. So it's ricotta cheese here. Now this, the cheapest you can find at Walmart is this is like six dollars. It's crazy. So that's not something I like to use too often. It's just a lot of money. When I use special cheeses, so two cups of ricotta cheese. I hope this is still good. Good till next month. Yeah, the lighting's going weird. I see it like flashing and stuff. It's not a good, not a good angle for the camera, I guess. Some ricotta. Two cups. I think it's going to be rolled up the whole thing, actually. It's going to be about the whole thing. What's a little bit of extra cheese anyway, right? Damn. This price of this cheese, I don't want to get in there and lick every lick of it out. Get that six bucks for it. Oops, spilled a couple drip ones. You can see this, I don't know if you can tell, the steamer is starting to steam pretty good now with the back. So it's happening, it's happening. The steaming is happening, it's hot. I'm an idiot now, I like to touch it. Okay, the ricotta. A little finished off here. See the more. Smells weird. I think that burner still. My burner's always smelling weird, unless it's the spinach. I open it like this, or it'll go all over your face. It's spinach. It kind of smells like mold. So put the garlic in here. I just use this tube squeezed garlic. Pretty good, but it seems like they don't even fill it more than halfway before you buy it. It doesn't last long. Well, it doesn't have onions in it, so my dad might eat it, but it's got spinach, so he probably won't. So we're going to put a teaspoon of oregano. Some of these are missing, so put a teaspoon of oregano. This is our filling mix right now. Lights are still making it weird. I guess I can't film this way.
oregano. Just a bit of oregano. Red pepper flakes. For that much, I'm just gonna put a finger's worth. That stuff's actually a little hot, so. And then, let's see if there's anything else here. So a little salt and pepper. You guys know most of you. My one of my mills broke on my salt and pepper mills, so I have to use one for both so I can buy some new ones. These are like three or four years old and I still haven't used them all. Salt and pepper's old. Alright, and once we get our spinach, I think we're going to mix it in there with it. Let me, uh, see. Combine spinach with the ricotto, garlic, oregano, red pepper flakes, salt, and several brines of pepper. So we're just waiting for this to get wilty, it says. We're not doing a whole lot yet. Like I said, it's a nice having a steamer, but it, it takes a really long time. It's old. Like, I don't think people really use steamers anymore. So this is 18 to 20 shells. I love the big shells. They're awesome. They'll fit quite a bit in those little things. Well, not that little. about 20 in there by the looks of it. Making my making my cupboard sweat. The rest of this thing has got to go in the garbage. I don't know if it's good enough to give to my mom for her salads. A couple of them are looking a little like darker. I suppose there's still some good ones in there I could put in with my garden salad. So I'm not wasting so much of it. So now we're basically just waiting for this to steam. And it's got about 15 minutes it says. And then um, this to boil. That's need, that needs a little bit more water in it too. So. Good. You know, notice I don't cook with tap water like for my pasta. I avoid tap water for anything. Because all the chemicals and the chlorine and fluoride and shit in the water is going to soak into your pasta. So, same as that. Those chemicals and all that shit in your water, tap water will cook into your food.
My water's getting ready to boil. That steam is going all over my cabinet, though. I don't know if it's supposed to rain. I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so. Yesterday I got some raspberry lemonade <clears throat> for two bucks. It's really good. I like it. I put like two cubes of ice in there just to cut the sweetness down a bit. So a lot of those juices are way too sweet. Checking these up, so I don't know how long it's gonna take. So it's getting pretty wilted now. Dang it, that's hot. Whew. But it's gonna go into the oven. It's gonna cook more, so I don't want to overcook it. So I think it's about done, honestly. I got a new bulb for my my oven finally. They had them real cheap at No Frills. Like um dollar fifty for one, so uh we've been okay. We had a couple days of um we had a couple days of um kind of like you could see a, a, like something in the air, like a little fog almost like. And uh my breathing was pretty bad those days, so luckily we have not been anything like Toronto or anything. I have been having issues with my Wi Fi, but I'm on a new I can't on here. I'm on a new term or a new month for my uh, my data, so I could put it on to my hotspot. I'm gonna have to call them, but I can't really bitch because I'm a month behind on payment. So I'm usually always a month behind with them. Because they usually don't give you shit till it's been over a month, so. Or two months, so I'll put it on the hot spot here. Hang on. It's cheap internet. It's forty dollars a month, so Ah I can tell why it's bad was bad. It was on the two gigahertz or giga whatever. It was on the two gigahertz um connection, not the five G. Eighteen to twenty, but we used extra ricotta too, so it'll be fine. Just wanted to know. I was curious how many were in there. It's for future recipes. Bring it back to a bowl. Get my um, strainer out. Enough. We'll set it for just a minute or two more. Take out this Brita. It's on our way. We'll drain our noodles, pasta. 
And then once that spinach is done, we're going to put it into this bowl, which I'll show you when I get there. So yeah, I used a whole box of these jumbo stuffed shells, 340 grams. I've never been into those Marvel movies or whatever the other one is. I don't even remember what it's called. Never been into it. Seen some of the movies, but these should be so clean. This has some oregano in there. I tried watching Gotham for a bit. I think that was a Marvel, wasn't it? But I couldn't really get into it. It's just, I guess it's not my thing. I'm going to get the hot water up here. We're going to need it cold right now. It definitely will too. Let it cool down for a minute. Got the hot water going up here, so it'll be still hot by the time the pass is done. Want some al dente or al dente, however you say it, because we're gonna cook in the stove still. Um, so all that's left, throw the spinach in there, drain our um, pasta. Put the pizza sauce or the tomato sauce, I'm using the four cheese, and start stuffing them. Put some parsley on it and it goes in the oven and we're good. Yeah, my water's included. I need to get better internet. Yeah, they offer a lot better internet for just a few bucks more, but I gotta wait till wait till I'm working and caught up on my bill because they're not gonna give me they're not gonna let me upgrade if my bill's not paid up and so, <clears throat> but most of the time it's fine. I've only been having issues with the last few days. But also this phone, it wasn't on the 5G network. That makes a huge difference too. So that's why it was bad tonight for some people. Yeah, I always keep it on 5G. I don't know why it would go to 2G. But like I said, my data just reset last night. So we can use some data. It doesn't take too much. And it's like the best quality, so. Alright. So we'll pull this out. You can see that's pretty wilted. Stuff my shell, please. So they told me to use five ounces. I used like three cups, and that's all that came to. That's the thing about spinach. I actually don't mind spinach, because you can... You can put it into a soup or something and you don't even hardly notice it's there. Oh, it's got the soap. It smells kind of weird. I've never steamed it before. But I'm sure that's normal, so. So we're supposed to mix the spinach in with this now. Hopefully it's going to break up a little bit. 
Oh yeah, that smells good. Together with the cheese. I don't, like I said, spinach is not even bad, like. If you like salad and stuff, you'll probably eat spinach. I don't like spring mix. My mom uses spring mix for her salads for work and I find spring mix is disgusting. So there we go, we got our spinach. Incorporated all our seasonings and spices, whatever you want to call them. That's our filling. So we're gonna stuff these shells with that. Um, we got spinach. Um, shit, what the cheese called again? Not feta. Ricotta. Um, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, oregano. I think that's it. I'm following the recipe. I've made stuffed shells before on this channel, but we use meat, so I'm kind of excited to have it without meat. Ground beef especially tends to bother my heartburn and stomach, so... I think these were about done, honestly. We'll give them another minute. So now we're done with the steamer. We gotta do all the cleaning of it. Which is mostly just letting it dry out. It's just water in those parts, but you want it to dry out too. That's because we put too much water in, but. Oh, fuck! The drink! Oh, great. You guys will have a fucking heyday with that. That's a lot of drink. It was like fucking full. Damn it! Always something to fuck up my video. It's probably gonna, like, the sink isn't sealed, so it's gonna fucking go into the sink. Damn it. The cord's wet. Fucking bait. Let's take a brief intermission. Everything is fucking soaked. They even flooded my phone. At least I think they're waterproof these days. Uh, let's pull this out. Sorry, y'all. Does it mean to do that? Oh, SGM spills his fucking drink all over the damn counter. And on the floor. That's a lot. Holy crap. Soaked everything. I'm gonna get fruit flies. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna get a new towel. Sorry about that. So I'm gonna get a new towel and so it won't get sticky. At least this pass is done. This is a pain in the butt having to deal with this right now. None of them stick. Stunk. None of them stuck. Alright, let's continue. Get rid of this water and this steamer. 
Yeah, let me grab another towel and we'll get back on track here. Damn it, that was the last of my raspberry lemonade. I'm going to do laundry probably on Monday, so... Oh, sorry. Honestly, this needed a good clean up anyway behind here, but... Not the time I wanted to do it. Doesn't mean it ain't gonna screw it up. That's all that's my raspberry drink. That's all I had to. No more raspberry drink for me. I'll have to deal with this later. It's all sticky stuff over here. And... Alright, kinda looks nicer without that placemat there. I might just leave it like this. Anyways, we'll get that in the oven, and then we'll deal with, I'll deal with cleaning up the rest of that stuff, so. Alright, so, I'm going to look at the instructions. Okay, we're going to get our baking dish. What the heck is that? Oh, I use that dish for my shepherd pie, so we use it on. I've used this recently, but. So we're going to start with the sauce in the bottom. Spread the bottom. Okay. Probably make it seize up too. But I don't care. I'm ready to throw it out the window. Great sauce, I love it. Okay. All right. So now, let's put stuff in the shells. They're a little hot, so we're gonna give them a couple minutes. 
They're nice. They didn't stick together. They didn't break. I didn't overcook them this time. They're still pretty al dente. That one broke, but... Hey, they break, okay? So we're going to fill them all with this stuff. I think we're going to put a little bit more sauce, sprinkle it on top kind of thing. Parsley, and it's going in the stove for 20 minutes and it's done. Quick. Alright. Can we just fill my lemonade? Is it leaking? It doesn't look like it, but it should really seal around the sink. I'm not sure if they put something underneath it, but. see the chat too much. She's going to be coming soon, but there's some drama going on, so it's going to take some time. Might take a little longer for her to get come back, so. Twix, but next time she says she'll go live with me. Honestly, really didn't care about taking pictures the first couple times we met. We just spent time together and had what did a lot of fun stuff. So went out for dinner and such. So we just want to keep it more private than anything else. So people in this community, it's best just to keep it as private as possible. Damn, these are still too hot. The perfect consistency this time. Remember last time I made these? They were falling apart because they were too soft. I'm just going to do them level this time. And then if I have extra, I'll go back through and add a little more on top of each. Can you see? Yeah, you guys can see. Honestly, you can't go wrong. It's, fat, it's cheese and tomato sauce and with a little bit of, little bit of spinach. Now, you're not even going to taste the spinach, hardly. So if you don't like spinach, I never really thought I was one for spinach, but when I had it, like, in a soup one time, I forget what kind of soup I made, I was like, okay, I can handle it, you know, stuffed into a soup or something. When you cook it, it cooks down to nothing. That was a whole lot of spinach. So this is going to take some time, so... You guys want to, might want to take a break. Unfortunately, it's not a video, so I can't just cut it and come back when they're all filled. This one's got an extra piece of pasta in it from another one, obviously. This one's still freaking hot. Ah! I think it's probably better with a little bit of meat in there, in my opinion, but... I mean, it didn't call for me, and I'm like, okay, that'll save some money as well. So, this is a little one. Must have broke or something. Still jumbo, I guess. But, yeah. These don't last long, either. It looks like a lot, but... You're probably going to eat four or five or six for dinner, like, 
I can see a lot of people eating at least four, probably for dinner. I mean, it's not like there's a whole lot to them. The cheese is very filling, though, so it might not, you might not eat as much as what you think. I don't really feel stuffed. Well, I might have to start a second pan for this. I guess that's good because then I can just give my mom the whole pan. I know she'll eat it. My dad's probably not going to eat just because of the spinach alone. It's frustrating because I want to make stuff he likes too, but it's like gross and boring. Like he doesn't even eat onion, so it's like how do you cook for somebody like that when I'm not picky? I eat most anything. I don't like avocados. Never did. Um, eggplant, I'm not sure if I've eaten it before. I didn't really care for squash. Spaghetti squash. I had spaghetti squash once and I didn't really care for it, to be honest. But um, I'm always open to trying new things. Not seafood. I will not eat like crabs and shrimp and land seafood, like stuff like that. I eat fish, but and I'll eat, um, I don't see myself eating crab. It honestly, I like see crab and I'm like, it looks like too much work for the, what you get, like what your meat you're getting out of it. It just seems like too much work. People do crab boils and stuff, and it's like, you're not got nothing in there but potatoes and corn. There ain't no meat on that crab, hardly. If you ask me, it's not, it's not worth the, the time it takes to break the crab apart and all that. So, yeah, I've never been to Red Lobster. Having picky a picky dad, we really didn't go anywhere. But we went to Swiss Chalet if we were going out to eat. We go to Swiss Chalet, Harvey's, you know, McDonald's, stuff like that. We never went to fancy restaurants or nothing, which is fine. I don't care about a fancy restaurant. Um, we went to steakhouses a bunch of times growing up. But I didn't mind a California roll when I tried um, sushi. And then I tried some seaweed salad when I was in the States there. And it tasted really good, but the consistency was disgusting. It was like slimy old snot or something. It was just gross. Okay, we're running out of film here. So I guess we're going to fill up this as much as we can, and then I'll have to figure something else for these noodles. Just eat them in pasta sauce or something. I'll figure something out. I'm thinking I'm going to fill, even fill the tray. I thought we'd have extra, but I guess not. I'm actually going to be a little short of filling the tray, I think. Let's see if we can get one more. I use extra ricotta. I use extra cheese. We're not going to get one more of this. It's going to be a very basic one here. We'll fill it up with sauce. And it'll be fine. So that'll be the last one. So we're like one shy of... There we go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got twenty. And that's not bad. This one has a lot of extra cheese. I'm gonna take some off the top. Put in this one. That way we got some twenty perfectly stuffed shells. All right. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna dribble more of this sauce on top. I forgot I got a hole in the spatula, so it, 
opened up pretty good. <laughs> Doesn't say to do this, but I kind of want to, so I'll give a little bit more to it. I will empty this can in the corner or whatever. Garnish it with parsley. I like lots of parsley. It's going to cook down too, so. Alright, so we're ready to go in the oven. There we go, there's our stuffed shells, no meat. So now we wait 20 minutes. So, what is it, 8.30? So about 8.50 or so. But, I'll pack these past, well, the rest, rest of the pasta up and see if I can't come up with something to do with them. Um, I don't want pasta sauce, I don't have more cheese, but I'm going to find something to do with them. So we'll see what I come up with. Take them in recycling if they're cleaned out, so. Oh, bitch. Let's get this shit cleaned up a little bit, and then we're gonna make our salad that's gonna go with it, so. I'll show you me. It's no fun looking at a freaking stove. It's not feta. It was ri ricotta in the. What I just made. Oh my 
smells good, that mixture. All right, so we're all cleaned up here. Very basic recipe, not much mess, but it's nice. What was it, a bowl and the steamer stuff? That's about it. So I'm gonna wipe these sinks out. Tit is the perfect place to wipe your phone off, by the way. I guess this isn't really dirty, it's got to be scrubbed, it's got salt residue. Put this purse style away, it's cold. garden towel here. It was for two dollars. Fed me two meals so it's good. A little bit of Caesar dressing on it. Oh I forgot there's not one of those squeeze holes on these. That should probably be enough anyway. I don't like a ton of dressing on a salad. Just enough to coat everything a little bit. Loving these garden salads, I'll say that. They're so good. I'm about out of dressing. I'm about out of food right now, but I'll figure out something to make. salad. Mm. I love having garden salad right now. I was just craving it. I was craving tomatoes. Now I want a garden salad. So hell, if I'm craving healthy stuff, I'm down for it. It's garden salad with lettuce, romaine, carrots, radishes. Garden salad.
No, it's Caesar. I don't like ranch. I only like Caesar. Well, it's a pain in the ass to make salad by hand. If you do, it's going to cost the same as buying the mixed bag, so... It was just the salad mix. It wasn't the dressing or anything, so... Hey, Beezin. I don't like ranch. and I know that's like... Americans love fucking ranch, but I don't... I like Caesar salad, that's it. I don't really like ranch. Really at all. I love Caesar. Caesar salad with bacon and Parmesan cheese. And, yeah, bacon bits and croutons. Oh, I can do without croutons. Well, come say hi, Quigs. Why are you messing with this already? The milk place not dry out. Can't find any of the cats. Weird. Mars on the bed. What's up, yeah? Man, little bear not being like with an arm length of me is weird. Wait on that, it's 20 minutes. Need to be another good five minutes. I think it's need longer. Based on what it looks like. So. Balsamic vinaigrette. I got balsamic vinegar. If it's the same thing, I don't think it is. But. Now, I don't have tomatoes right now, I don't know. I ate them, well I threw two of the little ones out because they went kind of, they're just overripe. I didn't get to them quick enough, so. I love salad, so. That looks good. It's healthy. I could get like dressing, I, I don't mind, you know. Having lighter options usually never bother me, so I just don't think they had any light when I went because it's super expensive. So we're just waiting on this. Um, that's it for recipes that I had planned. Um, I'm not sure if I'll get groceries this weekend or not. Um, I'll have to see. Um, I still got lots of burgers and chicken burgers and stuff in the freezer. I got that steak. We can make steak. I, I don't know. I don't think I have potatoes left now. Maybe. I'm not sure. I had like four or five of the tomatoes. Um, they were just little ones. I cut them up with salt and pepper mostly. Um, I put. I made burgers for my whole family. My brother, my dad, and my mom. So... Well, not my dad, because he wouldn't eat tomato and stuff. But I put onion, lettuce, and tomato, my fresh lettuce, in containers for my brother and my mom. So they had homemade burgers the other night that I made. So, and I had one left over. I had two of the burgers myself, and then I had one left over I ate last night. Um, I had some leftover shepherd's pie, and I had a big salad. So that's what I made. That's what I ate last night. So... Um, yeah, I think I'm going to take that steak out. We can maybe make that in the next couple days. Um, you know, I always come up with something to make, but, um, we've done all the fun stuff now. So now i got to find, see if I need groceries, and if I can, make up some new recipes. So, um, for the amount I spent, I got, I think, I, I think I'm at like eight or nine days, ten days to get groceries. Um, I think I've done pretty well, considering I'm feeding half my family, too. Uh, my dad and my mom, I took them stuff like five out of seven days a week. So, um, yeah, I think for the money, I'm doing pretty good uh, making stuff that they can't, they don't have time to make. 
um, because they don't care to make after a long day of work. So um, I'm helping them out that way. Um, they've helped me out with groceries here and there too. So when they do, I try to make stuff that will go far and that I can share with them, you know, kind of like sharing it back to them. It's less groceries they have to buy and they don't have to worry about coming home and making dinner. Because my dad works late now, my mom works so like they get home at like after five o'clock, both of them. So they're not in the mood to cook and they're early to bed. They're like nine o'clock people that go to bed at nine o'clock. So they don't get a lot of free time to you know spend two hours cooking stuff like I can right now. So and my fridge is pretty bare right now. a lot of good stuff. I still got boring stuff like pogos and pizza pockets and chicken bites and chicken burgers, burgers, more burgers, little mini pizzas, french fries. Um, we got a steak in there. We're going to have steak and fries. Um, a little bit of vegetables in there. But besides that, I think I'm kind of dry on stuff right now. So, um, we've got, wow. I've only got like eight cans of stuff in my cupboard. I usually have like 30 cans stuffed in there, like filled to the top, but. So, I'm sure I'll be able to figure out groceries. I always do, so. I don't know if I'll go tomorrow, late tomorrow. I'll have to see. I got, um, a lot of steak, or a lot of steak, a lot of french fries, or whatever you want to call them. They're so good. A lot of cut french fries with a steak with mushrooms and steak seasoning. Mm, I think that could be, that could be what we do tomorrow. Take the steak out now. I got chicken in here too, so... I always come up with something, you guys know that. So we're gonna put this last steak in the fridge. So I'm lucky to have had the food I had. So I'm grateful for that. So I can make videos and I eat pretty good. Yeah, those need a few more minutes. I might even put the broiler on. Well, they're not supposed to be done yet. I might put the broiler on for like five minutes. Um, I took a break from the job search the last few days just because it's getting stressful and it puts me down when I get no callbacks and just makes me depressed. So I'm looking into other things, a means of making money besides YouTube. Uh, so yeah. I should be able to pay for some basic stuff, but I kind of want to get into a different line of work. I'm kind of tired of the hot factories and shit like that. Um, I really want to pursue the cooking thing, so I should look more into that. I mean, I know I'm not a great cook, but I mean, I'm a better cook than most men out there, so a hell of a lot better. Um, you fuck up here and there, but it would be nice to look into some classes and stuff and get into cooking. I see my blister I got the other day because I was trying to wipe my burner and my finger got stuck out and hit the burner, I guess. That hurt like fucking hell. Right after the video, it stopped hurting, though. No. It doesn't look that bad, so it's good. Yeah, I want to look into the... I also thought about get, going and paying, you know, out of pocket to get my forklift license because I want to, um, I, I don't mind using, I like using forklifts, I like driving forklifts and I'm good at it, I've used them for years, um, but it's like $275 or something, so um, I think they just sent me an email the other day about training, local training, so but yeah, at the same time, I want to get out of those hot factories and just, they're dirty and ugh. I just don't want to, I really just don't want to deal with it if I don't have to. 
Hi, Jacqueline. So, let me see what happens. I know I gotta get into something different because I keep, you know, blowing through every job and they're good jobs, but it's too hot or too hard. It's just, I'm not as in good a shape as I used to be when I was younger, so. I need to get into something that's more sedentary, even just standing. Like the one job I had, they wanted me to jump up and top, up and down off a table this high. And it's like, I can't jump with my leg the way it is. And like this last job was telling me to run for the quality checks. It's like, I can't run because of my leg. So I think I need to figure out a different line of work. Just I don't think I'm physically able to do that much anymore. So. I can do some, it just depends how it is, if it's walking, it's one thing, or standing, but if you want me to run, or jump, I'm not going to be able to do that, like, I did the one day I tried to run for him, and it was like, a heart, like, a half-assed jog, and I hurt my leg, so, that's the stuff that I have to, you know, it's more of a challenge now, unfortunately. But, I don't mind working hard. I like working fast pace where it's constant because you don't have to... You're not looking at the clock every 10 minutes. A lot of places actually won't put clocks in their... Um, there's juice inside this fucking door. A lot of places actually won't put clocks in because then you don't have to look at the clock all the time. But, beggars can't be choosers. All I can do is, you know, at least try shit. I don't know, you don't get roaches in Canada. No, I've never seen a fucking roach before. I don't know if you're talking about roach vibe before. We'll broil it for um, five minutes and it's going to be done. Fucking places cleaner than ninety percent of the other apartments around here. I've been in enough of them to know. Been in enough friends' places to know that I'm not living like a fucking pig like a lot of them do. Could be should be cleaner, but I vacuum once a week, I sweep once a week at least. Keep up with the litter boxes and stuff, so. I won't live somewhere that has bugs and shit. Birds are chirping, ain't good? Do you see your borders? Twigs. Come say hi. Come see hi. Come here. Come see hi. Tell me it's gonna be your your birthday's on the fifteenth of June. And you're gonna be twelve. We gotta do a party. You wanna do a party, quick? We wet food, treats, new toys, catnip. We get fucked up on some kitty nips. Oh, how about that? And I'll let you eat your cook. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta plan her 12th birthday. Might need a fundraise for it so we can make get the cake and the tweets. Huh? Oh, yes, I know. You get sick of your daddy, eh? No, well, it's wet food. They're already halfway through their bag of food. Just a bit of attitude. I 
I'm on the second floor too, so the most I've ever gotten was ants. And then they started um, putting like started putting stuff in the basement and around the perimeter of the building that was supposedly safe for pets. And I haven't had ants since. I used to get ants as well. I do get fruit flies, but that is more about your, you know, taking your garbage out regularly and stuff. Like, yeah, me and Jacqueline are still dating. Shit on the corner of my stove. I don't have issues here. I don't get any bugs except for like a wasp or a little moth will get in once in a while. Now that I'm using an uh, air conditioner with a screen, instead of having that, you know, window shaker where you have no screen, I don't get any bugs now except for fruit flies here and there. Sometimes I get bad fruit flies. I get those traps, take all the garbage out, and that's fine. Um, like I said, I haven't had an ant problem in about five years. I did used to get quite a bit of ants, and if you spilled a little bit of food and then went to bed, came in the morning, like, oh shit, there's a little piece of food there with about a million ants on it. So I used to put, um, what the fuck is that floor cleaner? I can't remember. <laughs> I told you guys before. One of you will say it. Um, Speaking no. Whatever that stuff you use to clean your pine saw. I put pine saw where I saw them coming out, and the cats wouldn't go near because it, it smelled so bad. No more ants. So, ever since then, I never had an ant problem. I do try. I try to keep the place clean like it's definitely not dirty like a lot of places so I've seen enough apartments in these buildings here that I know that my place is good so um, but yeah other than that we'll get a moth in randomly but without that window shaker in I don't think we're gonna see much but fruit flies Yeah, it's about how you take care of your place. So the cleaner it is, the less any bugs, they're not going to survive when they get in. Um, especially ants and moths. I just, you'll see them one day and they're dead the next day. The cats will fuck with them. Luna will play with bugs. She likes to play with bugs. You get a little potato bug. Or I call them armadillo bugs. They look like little armadillos. And they just trot around and Luna takes care of them so the window shaker is just a, a window air conditioner Ooh, I ain't doing roaches girl roaches are nasty I don't think I've ever seen a I've never seen a traditional fat roach I've heard there's smaller roaches that we get in Canada but I don't think I've ever seen one I see weird bugs sometimes I've never seen like I feel like I've never seen them before they have this body and then they got this like looks like a trailer hanging from their ass and they're dragging another little piece of something behind them it's fucking weird I don't mind ants I mean they don't bother me but and moral of the story I don't get any bugs like I said we get the odd moth I haven't seen an ant in years um, moss and a couple moths will get in if you open the door and fruit flies it's about all I ever get Oh, or stink bugs or you know roaches we don't get that shit here it's so nice if I see a little spider I'm fine I just, if I if it disappears I'm like okay whatever um, but if there's a big spider it's getting killed my rent's a lot more than not 800 it's like 200 more than that almost What does it being cheap matter? It's only because I've been here for almost a decade. Mm. 
No, I haven't found a job yet. I'm I'm got some side gigs I'm doing, YouTube and some other things um, that I'm bringing in decent money. But I mean, it's not enough to pay all the bills, but. Oh, this prayer plant is getting huge. It's never done so well. I really need to find a better place for my plants. Like I need to build a shelf, like a shelf all along there. Put all my plants up there, basically. We don't get weird spiders either, so it's a good place to live, I guess. Don't get roaches. Don't get. Those black widows, we don't get much of anything but ants, moths. I mean, moths don't really bother me. They're just a nuisance more than anything, right? So. Alright. This has got to be getting close, so let's get a plate out. A plateau. A plateau. So I'm teaching you guys French at the same time. A fork. A bloody fork. And we'll probably use, I don't know what we should use here. Probably a spazatula. Or we could probably use a spazoon. Ow. This is my fancy Walmart plastic spoon. This sells for $4.95. Get yours today. But wait, there's more. Order the one. And we'll throw the second one in with the slotted for f absolutely free. Just pay shipping and handling and processing fees. <laughs> But wait, there's more! We'll throw in the past plastic ladle. Three tools that will save every, that will replace every tool in your kitchen. Call now and I'll throw in a double ladle. <laughs> Good. I must be a dumbass. I'm waiting for this. Probably done. Like I don't know. It doesn't look much different than when I put it in there. Dollar twenty-five Dollar Tree. Yeah, well, this is a very special product that I have patented. It's called the jam, the jam spoon. You get the jam ladle, the jam second ladle, also the jam slotted spoon, all for twenty-four ninety-five. Call now, and I'll throw in a second set. You just pay shipping, handling, and processing fees, which costs as much as another set. Dig in. Someone needs to hire me. I need to be hired. The jam slotty spoon. <laughs> Come here, little bear. Come say hi, Bobby. Bring a little drink there. Hi, Mark. Hey, good looking. What you got a cooking? What's this fool on? What are you talking about, Jack? Left. I'm just trying to entertain you while we wait. Why pray tell? Is there a shirt on your shirt? There's not a shirt on my shirt. What the fuck does that even mean?
Oh yeah, your prayer plant's growing big. This must be a hootin' bear. It's getting huge. I think it was doing bad. I had to cut it back and start it over again. That's not a shirt on a shirt. A shirt on a shirt. That's FFG shirt. It's nothing good for except cat scratch pull. So it's not worth anything else. Shit. And then she talks shit about me. Oh god, yeah, I can't you can't get nothing leather and desk chairs are always leather, so you end up with wreck chairs. Alright, we're taking this out now. It's been like 40 minutes, not 20, so. Alright, I may be biased, but that looks fucking good. Let it cool down for a few momentos. Do some momento, momento. Then we'll try it. And we'll do a taste test. And you can have leather. They'll fuck with other things, but leather is just a no-no. There's no stopping them. Hey, Doug? I'm switching on my coat right now. What are you doing? Anyways, let's show Twix while we're waiting. This thing's so big to maneuver. I'm gonna be good, kid. Twix. What? You're not happy with your accommodations? What matter? She beat you. She don't like her accommodation. You want a castle? You want you got boogies in your eye, Bob. There you go. So say you good cat. Now you back. Right? Are you back? Look at that big ass loaf of bread. 
Mean. So it's nice looking into that light bulb. <laughs> you really like don't you don't go by, buddy. You don't go by, don't look in there. No, don't look there. Please see, don't do that shit. Start looking across the room like you see something. You wanna go inside? Yeah, no. Look. Oh, that's tweet. She complains and shit nonstop. She never gets enough attention. She never gets fed enough. She never gets enough wet food. She just never gets enough, I guess. But she does. I'm giving, giving them wet food about three times a week right now because we have it. Someone purchased it for us. so They're about half out of food already. I'm trying to cut them back even more, but they don't like it. Um, I renamed, um, all of my cats, really. Twix's name was Marie when I bought her. Mars was Courtney. And Little Bear was Luna. I still call her Luna here and there. It's still technically her name, but we call her Littles or Little Bears. Bears. Bear, Bear, Little, all those things. So... I guess Luna technically has her official name. I'm not, I'm not taking, you can't take those cats. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's try a couple of these. I'm really excited. Stuff shells. So we got um, spinach in there. We got pasta sauce on the bottom. We got jumbo shells. We got ricotta cheese with, again, spinach, red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, oregano, all ready to go. So with it, we got a lovely garden salad. Oops. So we'll do a taste test. Lovely garden salad there. So um, again, we got some lovely stuffed shells. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, they gave them stupid fucking names. Like, I call my cat Marie and Courtney. That's stupid. Let's just put some parsley around the plate for some garnish. I won't take a picture. Loving some garden towel lately. Mm. 
from the crunch, the juiciness, the freshness, so good. So, let's try these shells now. I'll show them one last time. Oh, it looks like they're breaking apart. We're going to have to try to cut them. sauce here. Oh my god. That ricotta is so rich. Let's try a little bit more. A little bit of sauce, everything. So chewy, rich, and that great taste of that sauce. That's amazing. I love it. I love me some stuffed shells. Let's have another one. It's got everything. All I gotta do is scoop it up. Then your hair cut. salad. I got a little piece left here. Cottage cheese is something else. It's great. Mmm. Great meal. I hope y'all will try it. Um, very simple recipe. It's pretty cheap besides the ricotta cheese. When there's no meat, nah. Yeah. How it with a dollar? Garden salad. So, absolutely wonderful. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate y'all. Um, I hope you have a good night and a good weekend. And we should be back tomorrow with something. We'll figure something out, right? So, thanks again. Bye, y'all.